Wow. I know what to do and I've done it before. 17.8. As you can see, I have gained some weight. Thank you, estrogen. What? What? Uh. I feel like I'm being pranked. These meals are good. Mmm. That tastes homemade. Oh, that's great. Oh my god. Literally tastes like I just made this myself. Jenny Craig food is so good. I cannot get over it. Mmm. I do have a two-year contract with Jenny Craig because that's what I thought I was gonna do. And uh Obviously it's not. I'm a mess. In the pit of my gut, my gut was telling me, Amberlynn, this is not the right choice. I looked at Becky and I said, Becky, has your gut ever like truly spoke to you? That my gut actually spoke to me and said, Amberlynn, you need to do Jenny Craig. That gut feeling, I'm very grateful my gut spoke to me. But my gut is telling me, my gut, I'm just happy with my gut. I knew it was the wrong choice. Mm. We actually just got back from Target and I have the last video I filmed was the Panera Bread mukbang, and I think I filmed that about six hours ago. And I was gonna do like a reaction to it with me like watching it on camera because it's a load of crap, literally. But I don't have it uploaded, so I kind of sort of can't do that yet. And many of you are gonna ask, well, why upload it? Like, what's the point if you're making this video? Because I want you guys to see how big of an idiot I am. No, boo boo, you uploaded it to troll and clickbait. You named the video Whiplash and New Cycle Begins, so you knew exactly what you were doing. Why name the video that when you claim that you already regretted it, and are now in the right mind frame? Also, you always accuse us for hating on you, when we claim that you are going in circles on your journey, so we already know you can be less than smart when it comes to a lot of things. We don't need you to show us anything though. Long story short, I binged last night. Last night was day two of Jenny Craig. And I don't know what happened, but during that binge, I chopped off 14 inches of my hair. Um, I don't know what the heck was going on, but it happened. And I went to bed saying, Jimmy Craig is not for me. I woke up with the same mind frame, but in the pit of my gut, I knew that I was making the wrong decision. And I still was making the wrong decision as I was making that move bomb. I do believe her when she says she was finding excuses to binge. But the problem is we have been here too many times. She claims that this time is different and she has changed. But just give it a week or so, and we will be back in the cycle. This is a very very sad situation that a girl keeps on doing the same thing, and expect different results. I also do believe that she feels guilty when she binges and overeats, but she needs to learn to stop before the binge monster takes over. Before, she would say that she doesn't care about anything when she binges, so if she is telling the truth, it is a good step when she actually feels bad during her binges, that is if she is telling the truth, we all know how dramatic our goal is. So if you want to go back for reference, you can kind of tell that I'm just low, like I'm literally just talking out of my butt at that point, because I was trying to make excuses for overeating, because Weight Watchers allows that. I was trying to not be strict with myself, but restriction is what I need right now to lose weight. Our goal doesn't understand that we don't need her to explain this. We totally get it, but when we say this in her comments, she and her supporters accuse us of not being sensitive and hating. When you say, open quote, Jenny Craig is too restrictive or Octavia is not sustainable. We know you're making excuses to quit, but the sad part is we see it coming, but you only get it after the binge is over. And during this process. You accuse us of being open quote sociopaths and haters who want to see you fail, but after that, you come and tell us the same thing, and call it self-realization though. Because like, everyone always like has that saying like, follow your gut, follow your gut. Well, this might be one of the first times in my life, one of the first times, that my gut actually spoke to me and said, Amberlynn, you need to do Jenny Craig. Stop making excuses. It's so crazy because I've never felt that with anything. Like... Octavia, uh, counting calories, veganism, 
anything like even weight loss surgery i've never felt that gut feeling even with weight watchers as much as i've tried it but with this i knew i was making the wrong choice i'm feeling is like really good i haven't had any cravings i'm not hungry like before my feeling number two i was just like i'm not even hungry okay guys welcome to day three so it is the end of the night yesterday mentally physically i felt incredible i don't think that there is a time that i have done a program or a weight loss journey diet situation where i felt as good as i did and that's just 100 percent honest Gore, you have definitely acted like Octavia was your savior, and every time you go on a new diet, you claim that it is the best thing you have ever done, and how everyone else should do it too, only for you to go and quit after day three. So here, she thinks that this is a revelation, but it actually fits perfectly into her cycle. And I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash, but I want you guys to see kind of where my brain was at. It's just, it's an absolute mess, like an absolute mess. I am very grateful my gut spoke to me truthfully anytime that i usually mess up on a diet or a lifestyle change early on in the day i use the rest of the day as a as an excuse to binge or overeat or whatever it is but not today not today again the first time i've ever done this but my gut is telling me don't do it me eating panera bread earlier i had a huge excuse to just binge and tell myself oh tomorrow's a new day i'll just start fresh while i'm not doing it i'm doing the advice that almost every single professional in person who has lost a large amount of weight tells me all the time start now no no dear you are getting this all wrong you binge last night and didn't listen to your gut then you ate panera bread and ignored your gut again you only listened to your gut when your binge cravings ended and the binge monster was satisfied so no this is not it you had half of that mini sandwich left and that was six hours ago did you eat that as well or you stopped and started now as the advice says instead of binging i'm gonna follow through with some of the, um, my food's probably like all messed up because I'm sitting here talking because I'm going to do a taste test because I'm still going to do that in this video because today is day three. So this is Jenny Craig waffles and Jenny Craig syrup and a serving of fruit. So my gut, I'm just happy with my gut. I knew it was the wrong choice. I'm so confused. So you ate Panera six hours ago and we are starting off with breakfast. How does that work? Also, what are you smiling about? The fact that your gut told you that you are dead wrong for eating out and not listening to it. I'm confused. She acts like it's an accomplishment, lol. Okay, so let's do this. Mm. 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 I am not sponsored, but I truly recommend Jenny Craig for any type of person who wants to lose weight. The food actually tastes really good. They teach you about moderation. I love it. Last night when I binged, I was like, bye Jenny Craig. It was definitely like a... I think like a manic moment because the fact that I also cut 14 inches off of my hair goes to show that like I just wasn't thinking. Lol Gaul, I think this is a manic moment too. You are here smiling about not listening to your gut. And how you think this is so different from your past diets. A few things I want to say because people are like commenting like, oh my god, Jenny Craig is like not sustainable. Look at the small amounts of food you're eating. What? Exactly. What? I haven't seen not one comment saying that. Actually. Everyone was making fun of the fact that you eat every two hours, not the small portions lol. People saying these portions are small are as real as her imaginary people who request torrid hauls or what's in my bag videos. It seems like a lot of food to me, like, you're eating six times a day, and you're eating lots of veggies, lots of fruit. I'm like really confused. I was like so confused with that statement, but what also makes me confused is like people saying that, and then people saying in, in my other past videos of like counting calories that's just like too much food that's just like too much food there's never like a happy medium for you guys like i don't know what to do i'm i just do me and i feel like this is a lot of food in my opinion that's just how i feel haters please ignore this this is amblin talking to herself when she does weight watchers she eats large portions but say that she counted the points when she is doing programs like octavia she says it's too low calories okay you guys so it is the next meal it looks like a teeny tiny bit but I also have a garden salad that's gonna go with it. Jenny Craig has really helped me with showing like true portion sizes. It is honestly pretty crazy. Cause like I was talking about earlier where people are like, that's too small of food. I'm just like, yo, that's like a real like serving size. I also wanna say I did not film myself stepping on the scale. I did, but I didn't film it cause I thought I was doing the whole mukbang route, Weight Watcher route, but it was 514.2. So I've lost weight every day so far. 
Yo look at Andaman lecturing us on portion sizes. Says the Gaul who ate cereal out of a casserole dish. Gaul stop it. Okay, so I'm having half of an apple. This is not an apple. I'm having half of a banana and I'm having chicken carbonara. So this plate bowl is pretty big, but this is a normal serving. And fruits always fill me up, so we're good. And again, I am having a garden salad, so let's try it. Looks like there is peas, some bacon, and chicken. So let's do it. I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken. Mm. I love the texture of their chicken and their taste. It's so good. Mm. Yep, love it. I've not ate a single thing, but I'm Jenny Craig that I haven't liked, so. If she just had a little self-control, Jenny Craig seemed to be perfect for her. She can eat pastas, sweets, which is what she likes. Okay, you guys, so it's time for my next meal. Today is a little confusing because, like I said, I had Panera Bread when I wasn't supposed to. So I'm not having, like, any of the snacks or anything, like, in the middle of my meals. I might have one later tonight, but we'll see. So I'm having a huge salad. I think Craig has really helped me with showing, like, true portion sizes. I thought Jenny Craig taught you about portions, so why are you eating a huge bowl of salad? We know it's salad, but still the portion is crazy. With some carrots and Jenny Craig balsamic vinaigrette. You guys know that I love it because I tried it in last video, I think. And we're also having a chicken burrito. Mmm. I swear my mmms and this is delicious. It's so repetitive, but honestly, it's true. No, they are not. You only exaggerate your almond ass when you are trying to convince us that you like something you actually don't like. So, y'all, I'm so mad. I thought I was filming when I wasn't. Damn it. It is a s'mores bar and it literally looks like a Snicker or a Milky Way or something. And I already tried it because I thought I was filming. This is what it looks like. It is so delicious. It tastes like a candy bar. It might as well be one. It's so good. Oh, this means I'm done with day three. We had a little slip up moment and that's okay. Didn't happen. But I will see you guys for day four. Bye. I thought we are not having snacks in between. This video was super confusing. Savage comments of the day. I'm convinced that when she says stuff like people are saying that's not enough food she's talking about the voices in her head. Nobody will ever say that's not enough food when it comes to your diet Amber. You truly don't deserve to have anyone take you seriously, ever. You're literally the biggest joke. Pun intended, offense intended. What's she talking about never listening to her gut? She constantly listens to it. It usually leads her to the fridge. Why do you do and Becky do valley girl voice when impersonating your viewers? You are the one with an obnoxious teen persona. Jenny Craig should file a cease and desist against you. So you had two turkey sandwiches, chili, and potato chips from Panera Bread. Then you ate two waffles with syrup, an apple, chicken cabanara, a gigantic salad, and a chicken burrito. Please explain how this is a diet. Thank you.